All right, just going to look at finding the x and y intercepts on a curve. So to get the y intercept, the y intercept is where x equals 0. And to get the x intercept, the x intercept would be where y equals 0. And in this one, you actually have to solve uh, for x. You may have to factorize first and then solve each factor for 0. Okay, so the y-intercept, so if we're looking at this curve when x equals 0, if you put 0 in where the x is, you end up with 0. Okay, so the x into the y-intercept is at 0. And then if you put in y equals 0, you put 0 is x4 minus 4x cubed. You then have to factorise it. So x cubed is a common factor, x minus 4 x cubed equals 0, so that means x equals 0, and x minus 4 equals 0, so that means x equals 4. So it intercepts the x-axis at 0 and 4, and intersects the y-axis at 0. Okay, so looking at this one here, all right, so when x equals 0, f of 0 is 0 to the 3 minus 4 times 0 squared minus 8 times 0, which is 0. So it intersects the y-axis at 0. Okay. And then if you factorise this one, you get x, x squared minus... Now, I'm just going to adjust that number. It should be a 2 now. Yeah. It'll give you a better factor. So x squared minus 2x minus 8. So then that factorises to x, x minus 4, x plus 2, because two things are multiplied with minus 8, but add to give minus 2, minus 4 plus 2. When f of x equals 0, then x, x minus 4, x plus 2 equals 0. So x equals 0, x equals 4, and x equals minus 2. So it intersects the x-axis at 0, 4, and minus 2. Okay, so looking at this one, when x equals 0, f of 0 equals 0 plus 1, 0 squared minus 4, which is going to be 1 times minus 4, which is minus 4. So it intersects uh, the y-axis at um, 0 minus 4, or y equals minus 4. That's the y-intercept. When y equals 0, we get the x-intercept. So we go um, f of x equals x plus 1, x squared minus 4. So that means 0 equals x plus 1, x squared minus 4. You put 0 where the y is. So that 0 is x plus 1, x minus 2, x plus 2. So that means that x is minus 1, x is 2 and x is minus 2. So that means it intersects the x-axis at x equals minus 1, 2 and minus 2.